New Zealand is to milk what Saudi Arabia is for oil, or China is to manufactured goods. It's the world's biggest dairy exporter. Dairy farmers in the tiny island nation banded together in 2001 to form a company called Fonterra, a name inspired by the country's rolling grasslands. For years, Fonterra profited by betting on rising demand from China for one commodity, milk powder. But as Chinese consumers are getting wealthier, they no longer crave as much milk powder. Instead, they want fancier products, like health drinks and Western-style restaurant meals like pizza and cream-based pastas. So New Zealand's industry champion is trying to catch up to its global rivals by churning out about 300 new products a year. It even came up with a super stretchy mozzarella that matures in six hours versus three months. The unique product is starting to take off in China, where stretch is seen as an important quality in cheese. It has an impressive looking pilot plant to do its research. Our total site here has uh, laboratories and pilot plant equivalent to around four hectares, which is uh, in the international language of size eight football pitches. But as a cooperative of around 10,500 farmers, Fonterra doesn't have the deep pockets for research and development of a global consumer goods company, such as Nestle or Kraft, or a pharmaceutical company. For a while, the company had its hopes on a medicinal ice cream, but gave that up after clinical trials found no clear evidence it reduced the side effects of chemotherapy. In most world markets, Fonterra's future is likely to remain in milk powder. It plans to grow its milk supply from 25 billion litres to 30 billion litres by 2025 and be the number one ingredient supplier in the world.